going out to the range again. Our range is out behind our barn. got a 50 yards from the barn to this berm and then 75 yards back out to the end of my lane I may clear out more later but I haven't got a berm built out at the 75 yard point yet so here's my shooting berm Stepping back about 10 yards today, I'm going to practice a little bit with the 22 pistol my dad left when he died. This is my dad's pocket pistol that he carried and used trapping and left out at the barn. This is just a simple little RG Model 14, a caliber 22 long rifle. Uh, this pistol new would have been anywhere from $25 to $50 years ago. This is one of the Saturday night specials that um, caused a lot of the uh, gun laws to be enacted now. This is the exact same model pistol that was used to shoot Reagan and Brady and ultimately became responsible for the Brady Bill being passed. I'll be shooting Aguila Super Calibri today. It's basically a 22 round that's about 20 grains but it has no powder it only uses the primer so it's very low noise so with this I don't have to use any ear protection and it doesn't make a loud noise for the neighbors this is not a very accurate pistol it's best close up not even sure if I hit the target Actually, I did. Yep, won't be needing these today. Now, it is a single action and double action pistol, so I don't have to pull the hammer back unless I want to be a little bit more accurate. It's got a long, hard trigger pull. That's it. Let's go see how well I did. Well, I got five out of six rounds and about a 16 by 16 target. Let's see what I can do with the hammer cocked back. Reloading this pistol is not easy and it takes some time. There's a little screw here we have to unscrew pull out. That allows the chamber to swing free. The bullets do, the empty cases do not drop free. So I have to take this and push them out one at a time. I have to put each round in by itself one at a time. Turn the cylinder. reloading all right now I'm going to do six shots cocking the hammer each shot and taking aim center target So 
sometimes I forget how many rounds I've shot and drop on an empty chamber. The pattern is a little bit better when I cock it back. One, two, three, four, five, and I think one of these, six. But that's still five, six inches, which is really not that great. That's why this pistol is more of a keepsake and an up close and personal type weapon rather than something that's valuable. I'm back inside from the range now. And this is the ammo that I was talking about while I was out on the range. This is Aguila brand ammunition. You can get it at Academy Sports. It comes in a lot of different types of ammo, high power, uh, subsonics, no powder, like these Super Calibris. Basically, it's a very lightweight round, 20 grains, with no gunpowder. All it uses is the primer to uh, push the round. It's a little bit shorter than your standard 22 long rifle round as well, about the same length as a 22 long, not a 22 long rifle. Like I was saying back out on the range, this pistol is nothing really to brag about. Uh, it's just a cheap throwaway gun, honestly. Uh, it is, however, the same model gun that was used to shoot James Brady and Ronald Reagan. However, the one that he used was a shorter barrel, I think about a one inch to one and a half inch barrel, snub nose. This is the actual pistol used in the shooting of James Brady and Reagan. After my dad died, my brother and I were looking around the home place in Louisiana and found this hanging in the goat shed on a nail. It had rusted up, uh, had bugs in it, uh, it was in pretty bad shape. As you can see, the finish is much to be desired. Now, I didn't do much except clean it really good, uh, fix a few internal problems. It would not index properly. That means it wouldn't align on the cylinder right whenever you cocked it. Uh, so that would have made it dangerous to shoot. But I fixed it all, repaired all the broken parts, and cleaned it up best I can without re-bluing it. So it's still uh, a little bit of a showpiece and a family heirloom now. So this has been my first full-length gun video. I hope you've enjoyed it.